<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to Rump Para Pelt. Today I have the lovely Katie here. Hi! And we are doing a Halloween tutorial. I have already set her hair in little curls to make it crazy later. And I have already sort of waxed one brow, not waxed it off, but <laughs> <laughs> added wax to sort of create um, a defined brow um, so she looks a little bit more alien. Um, I will do the other brow and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sort of um, undead look. How would you explain it? Just not really mm -hmm. zombie, but... Undead, evil. Yeah, just evil, undead. You'll see. Um, you'll like it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's get started. All right, so you can see where I've added the wax. Um, I just need to smooth it out in places. The wax that I've used is Ben Nye's Nose and Scar Wax, and I'm just using a palette knife like this to rub it on. Be careful not to stab anybody. It's better if you sort of warm up the wax a little bit um, so that it's more pliable. So I'm just sort of squishing it between my fingers and I'm going to start to, I'm going to hold the brow and just sort of start to rub it on. Poor Katie's going to have to take this off before work tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the wax on, so it's just built up the brow a little bit. And now I'm going to take some MAC Face and Body in white with a sponge, and I'm going to make her face nice and white. So I'm going to be working with um, Barium uh, Loose Eyeshadows. Why it not want to work? Um, this one is black, um, you know what black looks like, but they're loose like that. Um, and I've got a purple one, Ooh, there it is, a purple one and a reddish one. And I'm going to mix them together to sort of hollow them out a bit. And, um, and then I'm going to mix the red and the purple to create some veining. I'm going to use this little tray and I'm going to pour some of the powders in there. And then I'm going to mix them with water and then that means I don't mess up the whole pot and I don't have loads of wastage. Okay, I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to take some water and I'm going to create the black. Um, this is my um, sort of bruising palette by uh, Coralin, and I'm going to use the purple. Blend it along the temple and anywhere I want it to be a bit hollow. a little more black along the top. So now we're going to go to the interesting bit which is where we're going to create the veins. Um, and I'm going to use a mixture of things like I said I'm going to mix a little bit of this red with a little bit of purple and um, using two really fine synthetic brushes um, I'm going to create little fine cracks um, and veins um, coming out from the eyes and the eyebrows and basically wherever I can. There's no wrong and right way to do this, you just sort of make it up as you go. If you do some really opaque ones and then maybe some really light ones 
to give a sort of variation of veins underneath the skin and on top of the skin, that'll be good. Looking good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, red by Garlet, and I'm just going to put this in your waterline. Is that all right? Yep. yep. Okay, if you look up to the ceiling. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line lips a bit with some red and then outline it with some black and put a little bit of veinage coming out of there as well. And then we'll add some blood. And I'm going to get a little bit of wound filler, okay? I'm just going to apply that along the lips a little bit and extend it. Right, now I'm going to take out the hair. This is what will help finish off the look. So I'm going to take Katie's hair and I'm just going to... She's going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I have to brush it out? Yeah. I'm going to just make it very, very big. Well, at least having big hair is good. Yeah. So I'm just taking the curls and just holding it and teasing it along. Turn your head this way. This is what I did on you, so I didn't have to do this to my hair. Ha ha! I have a tangle teaser. Oh, good, fine. me too. <laughs> okay, look forward. Probably the easiest thing would be to get in the shower and mm -hmm. wash it out. Yeah. And there you go. The, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. And that is how you create a quick undead. It didn't take us that long, did it? No, not at all. You don't even have to do the eyebrows out, but if you if you were to go around, if you looked up close, you can see that her eyebrows are raised, so she's got this like 
edge to it but with the sliding you can't really see it um, so even if you didn't do the eyebrows this probably would take only like 15 20 minutes there you go I hope you guys enjoyed do you enjoy it I did yeah it was good. excellent Aww. this is like the ultimate Halloween girl right here so I had to do it on Katie anyway um, but I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you have a happy Halloween and we'll see you next Halloween bye, bye. bye. bye.